Hey everybody, welcome to today's at Torah Texting Tuesday Challenge. It's the day after Shushan Purim, so I figured I would ask a Purim related question. The question was, you hire a company to deliver Mishloach Manot on Purim Day. They guarantee delivery. You're paying extra money for this service. And what happens? Hard to imagine, maybe not so hard to imagine. There's a massive snowstorm on Purim. And uh, the city is shut down. The mayor has a statement. It is a... It is illegal even to drive. I don't know. There's there's some type of you know very serious uh, storm, and they're suggesting not to be on the road. So therefore, your mushloch manot is not delivered to your very good friend, maybe to your rebbe's, right? To your parents, right? You live out of town, and you're upset. And of course, the you want to tell the delivery company, listen, buddy, you uh, I paid you to do this. You do not do your job. I don't want to have to pay for it. I want a refund. Or I don't want to pay for it. The delivery company says, Ones, Rahman Apatre, it's, it's Ones. It's a fluke, crazy snowstorm in the middle of March. What do you want? We attempted, we tried, we delivered it the next day. It's Shusham you know what I mean? That we delivered it, what can we do? It's not our fault. What's the halacha? So, halacha is, it says, like Mormon Babatsiya, if you hire somebody, let's say, to play at your a wedding or funeral, and uh, they don't make it, right? So, Something which is time sensitive, something which you clearly are very meticulous about the time. Not, you know, you're just mailing a letter, you want to get to your friend on a, on a specific date, you're paying extra postage for that, maybe. But there's guaranteed delivery, and that is really the, um, the, the, the reason why, the impetus for you to go to this special delivery service, because Bobayom is essential. To have it done the next day isn't really worth very much to you. Getting a Mishloch Manot. On Shushan Purim. It's nice, but it's just not the same. In which case, you would not be obligated to have to pay that person. And in fact, if you paid them, you probably would even be allowed to receive some type of compensation because they did not do their job. They guaranteed delivery, and it was essential, and they did not come through. That is today's Torah Texting Tuesday Challenge. Thank you. But.